The teacher has urgent business, it says, so work at home. Chao Kai's meditations have brought him to visit a friend, Kung Sung Shang, a magus who has mastered the Taoist enchantments which affect clouds, wind, and rain. I understand what you have in mind. Only should you get this treasure, what would you do? All night I fought and prayed. And I'm certain of this. From now on, our lives get more than adventurous. Nothing is safe for us. I am certain we cannot stand by while such men as Kao Chu fatten. I must resist this evil monster. Yes, only how? United together, we'll get back this stolen treasure. We'll give it back to those who die if we don't. Yes, you're right. I've waited long for you to say that. A spirit like Chao Kai is wasted here as a mere squire to our country village. The gentle days are gone. From now on, our lives can have dignity once again. Am I to understand that you are agreeing to aid us? I am. But on condition that we share everything. Action and planning and danger of death. Ah, I thank you. We too will be worth a thousand. I am so happy that you will be my comrade in arms. And now we'll get this fortune back again. Yes, but... You and I are two, and Lu Ta and Husan Yang are only four. We need more. How many more? Who knows? Perhaps another three? Or three for luck. Oh, we can't raise 700, so seven will have to do it. Ah. Oh, who are you thinking of? Three brothers. Altman with good hearts and courage, too. They are three good men. Fishermen, illiterate, and even smugglers. I must warn you, they are rogues but only because they've had no reason to be honest. Anyway, we're here, so uh, meet them and judge yourself. The three Huan Shao brothers. The left-hand one is Huan Shao Er, with the nets, the eldest. The next sorting the fish is Huan Shao Wu. He's the middle brother. The third of the three and the youngest is Huan Shao Chi pulling the boat. I wish you could be there. I'm glad to see you. A fair wind blew you to us. <laughs> and you'll bring us luck. We'll drink to our meeting again. <laughs> With mixed feelings, soldiers and citizens of the northern capital Pekin watch the departure of the 100,000 can of treasure for Kao Chu. Yang Chi! Everything's in hand. But, these though, what are all these barrels for? The treasure is in these barrels. The chests are merely decoys. They are decoys? That's right. Empty chest to catch bandits in, while I keep the treasure. We'll run with it over the mountain paths. The outlaws will be tricked. But all this treasure traveling without bearing guard? We won't have to fight. But if it came to it, these men are soldiers, in disguise, each a warrior. Hmm. All right. But I want a safeguard. My butler, Chang, will go with you. Chang? Are you serious? Those are my orders. Chang will travel with you. News that the fortune had left went swiftly to Liang Shanpo. In turn came resolute Lin Chung to intercept. Meanwhile, in a little village on the route, the Yuan Xiao brothers and four more heroes moved into action.
شم ما سمع سا You did, though not so much as they're going to be hopping in a while. Sang Yang, I believe it's your turn. Yes. Yes. Was that more natural? Come on, let's get out of here before they drop the mountain on us. On your feet, you idlers! Get going! Hurry! Save your breath for walking. Those rocks back there. That was never natural. Oh, now what? Another trick and we've got to get on. Move on. We can't. This lady is sick. She may even die. Hussan Yang. <laughs> what are you doing here? Wake up. Um, Yang Chi. Hussan Yang. Hussan Yang. She's the one. Cow's beauty who escaped from him in this thing. If this is the lady, there's a reward offered for her. Her name's Hussan Yang. We'll be rich with her and the treasure. And we merely deliver both to him and then Cow's reward will make us rich. All right. Move on. What about the lady? This is not a lady to die by a roadside. Move on! Yang Chi, we'll manage it somehow. I mean, we'll carry her with us, for then Kao Chu will give us a reward. No, she stays here. 
The story went you fell in love with her and she refused your advances. Ah! That's enough! Go on! Move! Luta! Rufus! A chubby little hero, eh? Quite a long while since we met, hmm? Forgotten it? You didn't beat me, you watermark monster. Still haven't learned your lesson, fake priest. Don't worry, I'm back again. And the fortune stolen from the innocent of these hands, <laughs> these pure hands will liberate. Those hands will go to hell, and this is the day. So, begin! Oh, yes. Now! <laughs> Nobody has to kill. A man he can beat. Farewell. Huh? Well, a very odd fellow. A uh, coward! Blue-nosed! Blue-nosed! Coward! You ran away when I beat you! His own chivalry is going to wear him out. It's your plan that took all into account quite brilliantly. Meanwhile, it's really working. So on to the next stage, I think. <sighs> <sighs> Ah, uh, not far now! Come on! Keep going! Hurry! We must catch up with them before the main road. Out of these mountains, it'll be too late. Come on, hurry! Hurry! Get up! Oh. A worthless, spineless lot! <laughs> We're down now, so close to safety! Thank you. You've strength enough to talk, oh, at least. Oh, please, some water. Just a little drop. You know none of us has any more water. The last drop is for her. Ignore other men more thirsty. Just one more effort, and then you can all drown in wine. Miracle. The scent of wine. Hey, just a minute. Huh? You spoke to me? Have you got wine there? Ah, that's right. New wine too, Josh. Ah. Nevertheless, I can't sell any to you. Oh, oh, what a lot of thirsty tongues I can see hanging out here. It's sold, and I've walked eight miles with it already. Going back for more is not to my taste. Please, oh. just one jar. Oh, please. Well, as I said, it's already pumped. And if I, if I, I were to sell it to you, I have to go all these eight miles back for more. So? And there's no way. We don't want it anyway. Huh? Oh. Oh. It might contain a drug for all that we know. Gah! You mean that I... You lie! No need to insult me now, is there? A hard-working man. Uh, it's not for sale anyway. Eh? Hey. You there? Uh, me? I overheard you. How would it be if I paid extra for transport? Would you sell me a job? You mean, you want a jar too? <laughs> well, now what'll I do? We are timber dealers from Peking. These two woodsmen were assisting us. Now, we can't let them smell wine and not taste it. We'll give you five khan for a jar. Five khan? Another for the transport? 